Where'd he run off to? He can't have gotten far. Split up and find him. trouble and take him out myself. Jeez, Hajime-kun, you're way too fast for me. I was carrying out my duty, nothing more. <laughs> yeah, but at least you could have let him kill our new friend in the alley first. Guess that gives you another duty to perform, Hajime. Killing is part of our job, but not before judgments are handed down. Consider yourself lucky. <laughs> Listen. Stay right there. Try and run and I won't hesitate. On my way to Kyoto. Please take care of yourself while you're gone. The capital isn't exactly the safest place to be right now. Oh my goodness. Chizuru. I'll do what I can to send word back to you when time allows me. Will that be all right? Mm -hmm. Here. Hmm? Look who's awake, Hiski. Yeah. Go get Hichikata son and everyone else. Right. I got it. Hichikata son, he's up. What do you want to do? Don't try and scream. Promise me that you won't make a disturbance. <laughs> I'm sorry, all right? Treating you this way. Now then, who are you anyway? We took a look at your belongings. Now, how do you know Koto-san, and what's your business with him? My father. So why are you asking about him? What? Uh, that's surprising. Are you saying that we really have Koto-san's daughter here? Uh, yeah. Hmm. If you are, then tell us where he is. That's why I'm here. He said he'd send word, but it's been six months. And here I am. I left my home in Edo, and I tried looking for him. And all of a sudden, those masterless samurai... It doesn't sound like she's lying to us, you know what I mean? So what should we do with her, Commander? 
Well, common sense might work here. If we all agree she's in Kodo's family, then it might be helpful to not be so rude to her. Hmm. Can we discuss this outside? Hmm? It's decided. We'll defer any judgments about her until tomorrow. <laughs> Heisuke, you'll stand watch on her, so she doesn't leave. Huh? Uh, yeah, got it. Well, damn. It's a shame we're not gonna kill her. <laughs> Soji, stop screwing around, will you, man? Hijikata-san, do you mind if I go on tire now? Hmm. I wouldn't think of running away if I were you. You try running and you'll be dead before you know it. Give me a second, all right? What the hell is going on with this? <sighs> Damn it, Soji. Why'd you tie it so tight for? <sighs> Excuse me. Could you tell me where we are now? Uh, mm, the Shinsengumi's headquarters. <laughs> the Shinsengumi? <sighs> My dad, how did the Shinsengumi know him? I, uh, hey, it's already getting late. Why don't we pick it up some other time? <sighs> There's a futon in the closet, so go ahead and use it. And I'll be out here. Oh, yeah. By the way, my name is Toto. I'm Eske Toto. But just call me Eske, all right? <gasps> my circulation's coming back. I should thank you for that. My name is Chizuru Yukimura. All right. Chizuru it is. The hell are you doing? Uh, shh, shh. What do you think, Sonan? I did a handwriting comparison. And their styles are nearly identical to each other. Uh, that letter you're holding. This is from last summer. There was a fire at Kodo's medical clinic there. Uh. We haven't heard anything from him since that incident took place. But he can't. Nobody was found at the scene either. So there just might be another incident in play here. These items were picked up from the ruins of the fire. Feel free to look and see if there's anything familiar to you. Uh, I remember this. I gave it to my father when he left Edo. Yes, of course. If you want it, we'll certainly let you have it, Miss Yukimura. You said you know him. So tell me if he's all right or not. We haven't ruled out the possibility that he's still alive. He's valuable as a practitioner of Western medicine. Do you know of any places he might go if he were in trouble? <laughs> I see. Well then. Why don't we try this? If you want to, why don't you join us in searching for your father and stay with the rest of us? Huh? You'd let me stay here? You're not being entirely truthful now. After what she saw in that back alley, she really only has two choices left to her. She either helps us or we kill her now. <gasps> Come on now. There's no need to threaten her like that. <laughs> she is in Kodo's family. So let's go ahead and treat her like we trust her, Toshi-san. We're worried just as much about what happened to him as you are. We'll be happy to do it if you want our help. But it's not gonna be easy for you. Just be ready to get your hands dirty. You can count on me. Please treat me well. Right. As of now, the Shinsengumi have extended their protection to you. Listen to me. From here on out, as long as you wish to stay with us, you will be treated as one of the men. 
So you're now a man, and don't you ever expect us to give you special treatment? Sir! Good for you, Chizuru! <laughs> Well, it looks like we finally got things ironed out. I really didn't want to have to go killing a girl, you know. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> My name's Shimpachi Nagakura. Looking forward to working with you, Chizuru-chan. Right. And so am I. I'm looking forward to it. Hmm. Master, what exactly is this girl's place going to be within our rank structure? <sighs> it probably makes the most sense for her to be someone's servant. The commanders or the deputy commanders. Not so fast, Hijikata-san. Huh? You came up with the idea, so you should probably take her as your servant. What? <laughs> She'll be a lot safer around you. Uh, that makes sense. Do your best to look after her, all right, Hijikata-kun? Huh? Wait, hey, wait a minute! So, who's up for some tea? Okay, you two have fun. <laughs> What is it? Let me go with you. I'd really like to help you with this. I know you know him, but I can recognize him right away. Please take me with you. I won't be any trouble. Listen, you. Do you even know how dangerous a patrol can be? You're practically asking us to babysit you out there. I wouldn't dare, but please. My father told me that I should protect myself, so I went and studied self-defense. You don't say you have fighting skills? Then I will put them to the test. Follow me. Hajime usually doesn't test someone's skill like this. Come on. All right, attack me. And please try to use your best effort. Yes, but sir, I don't want to hurt you. And your health is really important to me. <laughs> I think you're a little full of yourself to tell Hajime that. Gotta give you credit for Moxie, though. It's nothing to laugh about, you know? Swords are really dangerous. Yeah, but if your skills are any good, we might actually think about taking you on patrol with us once in a while. Huh? If you're really that worried about causing me some harm, just use the dull side. Uh, I understand, sir. Ready? Now. <laughs> One second away from losing your head. Still need to learn, I think. Thank your swordsmanship, teacher. Your sword doesn't hesitate. That's a good thing. You certainly have skill, and I don't think we'll end up having to babysit you, as some people might say. That was his way of saying you're going on patrol. I've never seen someone get the okay that quick. Right, Hijikara-san? Hmm. You've been approved to go out on patrol with us, but obey your commander's orders to the letter. You got that? <sighs> Understood, sir. Thank you very much. I did. I also heard the suspects were arrested and taken to Maikawa, and the vice commander is looking into this himself. Uh, Shizuru. Haruda-san! Uh, bad news today. 
But they asked me to tell you not to go on patrol with us. Why? What's going on? Really can't say. Just go to your room and don't ask anyone any questions, okay? I mean it. Yeah, sure. Shimida, is there still no word from Aizu or the Shogun's representative? No, sir. Toshi, let's do this one alone, all right? We have to keep up with the rogue. We can't let any of them escape us. Rumor has it they want to burn Kyoto down. Understood. But once we take off, we're gonna finish them off, right? Yeah, you got that right. We'll split our forces. Me and my troops will take the Ikeda in. And the Vice Commander's unit will press their assault on Shikoku in. Works for us. Shinsengumi, be ready for battle! Yes, sir! Right now, all of us are putting every resource we have into hunting down the rogue samurai who are plotting to burn the capital to the ground since the Choshu were excused from the court. Deputy Commander. Yamazaki-kun? What have you got for us? I believe I just saw a group of the rogue samurai meeting at Ikeda Inn on Shijo. Ikeda? There's another factor in this, especially if we don't have more information from Aizu. And at the present time, we don't. I'm sorry, sir. What do you mean? This might be a little disturbing to you, but it's been reported that a man was seen with Kodo-san's looks, and they're saying he was quite near the Ikeda Inn recently. Do you think the information's good? No, sir. We haven't verified anything. What lousy timing. We're still gonna need to get this information to the Vice Commander as soon as possible. I'm on my way. We're racing against time, and we don't have a lot of people we can trust to let Kondo-san know about it. I'd do it myself if I didn't have to worry about my arm. But, sir... Huh? Couldn't I take the message to him? I'm free! Does this also have something to do with the rumor about your father? Yes, it does. All right, then. Get to Commander Kondo and tell him to wait until we can get Hijikata-san's forces to join him. I will, sir! Yamazaki-kun sure is late. Yeah, he is. What are we gonna do, Kondo-san? We can't let these guys escape and go to Kyoto. <sighs> of all the damn luck. We'll be going in on our own, gentlemen. We're ready, sir. Hmm? Under the authority of Aizu, we are the Shinsengumi. The Bakufu are raiding us. What the hell? Prepare yourselves for questioning! Stand down now, or we'll cut you down where you stand! However, we're already committed. Need to 
Yukimuru-kun, do you know how to make a bandage? <laughs> yes. All right. I'm gonna be leaving now. Then do whatever you want. Started without us. Take your demon through the front, Saito. Go around the back, Harada. Now! Got it. Don't let any of them leave! You cut down anyone who resists! Huh? Well, guess who's just sauntering in? Lackeys. And who are you supposed to be? Call us the Shinsengumi. We're in the process of securing this inn from the rogue samurai. And we don't need your help, got it? Who do you think you are? The stinking wolves of Mibu are the law here, we are! You know what? The stinking wolf has a warning. If you want to live, you better stay out of there, got it? Anyone inside that inn who isn't wearing our uniform stands the risk of getting killed right now. So be a good bureaucrat and stay back! Gentlemen. We can do this without any bloodshed between us. If you leave now, I give you my solemn word that I won't take your lives without cause in the future. What? After we discovered your plot to burn down the city? You're not getting away! Assuming I'm associated with the Choshu domain is mistaken. Fine. I'll wait to get the answers I want after you're bleeding on the floor! <laughs> <laughs> Dance with me? Yeah! Son of a bitch. No, let's get. Guess you thought you were gonna sneak out this way. So, where's the harm in letting a coward run like the yellow dog he is? If you want someone to have fun with, then let's play. I've never been worried about playing with anyone, but only a coward walks into a fight like this using a gun. <laughs> oh, I'm the coward here? That weapon of yours is a projectile too, if you use it right. I guess you have a point. <laughs> wow, you really have a lot of courage. But charging in like that isn't good for your health. And neither is using underhanded tricks. All it does is make you a half-assed warrior and a man. You may be right. You're pretty good, you know that? I'm Kyo Shiranui. You got a name too, Mr. Longspear? I'm the captain of the Shinsen Gumi's 10th unit, Sanosuke Harada. <laughs> You're competent, boy. Not bad for a human being. <laughs> this is really amusing to me. The fact that you're trying to fight me. Glad you think so. But I just need my enemies to shut up and die, alright? <laughs> Your persistence is starting to annoy me, human. I've stopped the bleeding. Just hang on for a while, all right? Father. I really wouldn't advise that. I don't need your advice. <laughs> What are you, anyway? <laughs> Wait! Don't walk away from me when you haven't won yet! So you're telling me you have a death wish? I usually don't grant wishes! Okay, Stand aside. I won't do 
it! You're one of us. Why are you siding with the humans? I'm guessing this fact was kept from you somehow. <sighs> Since no one bothered to tell you, you'll learn. from me without telling me who you are? Toshizo Hichikata, the Shinzengumi second! And I am Chikage Kazuma. I'll leave the little one with you for now since it seems to suit her. I suggest you treat her well. What? He disappeared. Uh, Soji, are you all right? What in the hell do you think you're doing here? Uh, I was sent here. Didn't you just get cut? Let me see. Uh, no, I'm okay. <sighs> Vice Commander. How's Heisuke doing? He took a severe blow to the head, but he's fine. That's good then. Do what you can to look in on the rest of our men. Right. Secure the captured and take them back to headquarters. I need our spies to look for everyone who got away. Right. It's time for the rest of us to get out of here. Yes, yes sir. sir. This raid has certainly enhanced our reputation. The Bakufu and Kyoto are standing up and taking notice. That's all well and good, Kondo-san. But Soji and Heisuke were beaten, and we failed to defeat the rest of the enemy. Speaking of the rest of the enemy, I ended up fighting one of those monsters. So there's another one of those guys running around loose out there. For what it's worth, you guys, we're tracking down the ones that got away. Hmm. Here. Ah, oh, thank you. How are the wounded doing right now, Shimada-san? It looks like Yukimura-kun did a good job field dressing. Captain Okita and Captain Toto owe her a big debt of thanks for what she did. And as far as the condition of the rest of our soldiers and officers go, it's not good. Understood. Hmm. Oh yes, you haven't seen these men before, but Yamazaki and Shimada are intelligence agents with us. You saw me a little last night. Nonetheless, my name is Susumu Yamazaki. And I'm Kai Shimada, miss. I'm Chizuru Yukimura, sir. I'm looking forward to working with you. Crazy. Everything last night, including seeing you coming out of the inn. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. I'm sorry about that. Don't apologize. It's okay. You did a great service out there. Totokun, Soji, would be a lot worse off if it wasn't for you. Uh, now that I think about it, it was probably a real blessing in disguise for us that Kodosan didn't get caught up in that fight, you know? Yeah. Well, I was hoping that we'd fewer people hurt out there. Nevertheless, we did one hell of a job. Hell yeah! Well, I suppose with results like that, we can justify the risks we incurred, right? Son and son. So tell me, what's on your mind, Toshi? I need to take advantage of your studious nature. Might there be any kind of fury that walks during the daytime? If I fully understand what you're asking me, you're referring to the men who got away? Uh, no. I don't even dare say it out loud. But it definitely made me wonder if something like that was possible. Anything's possible, I suppose. Uh -uh. The water of life that's come into our possession is something that was introduced to us by Western doctors. I suppose it's a matter of how much time went into researching it. Otherwise, I might have actually said no to that question of yours. 
But yes, I think it's possible. <laughs> this is strange. I really am healing faster than I did before. You're one of us. Why are you siding with the humans? What did he mean by that? Ito Dono, we've been waiting for you. I consider your personal greeting a privilege. I'm truly honored. So that's our new military advisor? He's Kashitaro Ito. Rumor says he's pretty good with the sword. I've heard Ito's on the Revere the Emperor expel the barbarian side of things. That doesn't bode well for us if we bring him in. So that tells me this guy's just a troublemaker like those Choshu idiots. Just watch your back, okay? He looks like the kind of guy that'd stick a dagger in it. We're expecting new people to join our ranks soon. So we need to find a new headquarters to accommodate the expansion and get it done quickly. I suggest Nishi Hongguanji <laughs> Temple. <clears throat> a small reminder. The temple serves as a base for rogue samurai like the Choshu. I really don't think they'd be happy to see us there, Itodono. That's why it's a perfect fit. <laughs> It has more than enough space to make room for our expected recruits, and it's close to the center of the city. And also, we can use their political cause against them. No one would dare attack us in the temple, and that includes the Choshu, for sure. That's a good point. Do you really want to use force in a place of worship, sir? You have to realize what kind of damage that would do to our reputation. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about the capital. It's not realistic to think you can have justice there without force. I'm certain the deputy commander would agree, wouldn't he? Look, I understand your desire to play things safe. It just makes sense. Makes sense? Considering your current condition, I'd alter my strategy if I were you. Since you can't live properly as a swordsman, I mean. You've had to replace swordsmanship with strategic know-how. Just what do you mean by this? Uh, what do I mean? You were definitely right when you said San and San is a brilliant strategist. But that's not all. The Shinsengumi are still honored to have and need his swordsmanship. <laughs> Ijikara-kun. Well, I'm still having trouble with my arm. Oh dear, that was rude of me, wasn't it? I should have realized, of course. The most important thing is for you to get better. Take care of your arm. <laughs> Nevertheless, Ito-san has a good point. The Nishi Hangwanji Temple should work out well, but what do you gentlemen think? I'm prepared to entertain any ideas, huh? Oh. Um, I brought tea. We have a new gifted officer in our ranks, and it looks like the deputy commander is no longer needed. Is there something I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping there was something I could do for you now. I guess I looked a little pitiful back there then, am I right? <laughs> I think it's about time I showed you this. Time to eat. Who are these people, Master? All of them are victims of Kodosan's <laughs> medical research. Right now, I'm giving them a drug that keeps them from wanting blood. I know you've already seen what happens when the medicine wears off, right? 
It's a fluid taken by mouth, and we believe Westerners introduced us to it. We call this medication the Water of Life, and those who have been transformed by it are called Furies. We were told that our men who had taken the drug were going to become a new source of strength for the Shinsengumi because of their superhuman strength and their abilities to heal quickly. That's right. The men you saw in the alley used to be Shinsengumi. Once they found out, the Bakufu ordered us to find a solution to the problem. Toto-san was given a free hand to use our soldiers as his test subjects, and one by one, they all turned into these pitiful creatures. Obviously, his disappearance didn't help things any. Without an actual scientist here, we had to stop the research on it. He left notes, and I did what I could to study them, to make this a better medicine for everyone. So here I am now, wondering whether or not the healing power of the Furies might give my arm back to me. Wondering? You're still valuable, son and son! Please don't I can't keep on living my life as half a man who can't even hold his own sword. I'm holding the only hope I have left to be useful in my hand, now! That just isn't true! The Shinsengumi still rely on you! I have to die as a swordsman, not like some creature who can barely face himself every day. I'm gonna take my one chance to die as a man. Don't do it! <laughs> doing here, huh? Hey, what's going on in here? Huh. I see. Hijikata-san, what the hell just happened in here? Damned if I know. So how's Sanan? It looks like he went and took the water of life and became a fury. It's not good. Damn it. Don't let anyone else inside the storeroom. I'll send a relief later on. But keep your eyes on Sun and Sun. Understood, Ujikata san. Come on. What in the hell are you anyway? And you were injured in the middle of our last battle, weren't you? <sighs> Nobody I know heals that quickly. You have to be a fury or something like it. You better stop playing games with me right now. All right. As far as I know, I've always had this power inside me. And my father told me I should never tell anyone I have this power either. Vice Commander. Just let me keep on searching for my father. I have questions for him. What is this power of mine? Does it mean I'm something other than a human being, Hichikata-san? My father did all this for a reason. Whatever it is, I have to find out for myself. To learn about what I should really be. Please, Hichikata-san. <sighs> huh. All these powers you have, is son and son aware of them as well? Probably. It makes sense.
Don't start thinking I'm going to trust you now. However, for the time being, I won't tell anyone else here about your secret. And I'm telling you to do the same. Just keep your secret, and I'll keep you safe. How's son and son doing? It looks like he's calmed down now, but I don't think he's regained his awareness yet, sir. Let's see. No way. It happened right after you got back from Edo, but I think it's better to tell you instead of just you finding out. So what you're saying is, the water of life really works? Yeah. My hand works, and I can grip a sword. Okay. Well, that's good. But I gotta know, why are we telling everyone San and San is dead? That's kind of dishonest, isn't it? We don't need outsiders knowing about it just yet. And just so we're clear about it, Ito and his people don't need to know about the drug either. Huh? Investigating the medicine was a secret order from the Bakufu. It's our secret. And I intend to keep it that way, even if I have to go out of my way to deliberately mislead members of our unit. <sighs> Heisuke-kun? Huh? Welcome back, Heisuke. Shizu. Uh, is something wrong? No, I'm fine. It's like I took off to Edo... And everything's all different now. And I was wondering if there were problems with Ito's guys. You probably didn't know, but I'm the one who introduced him to Kondo-san. I don't want to think that San and San took the water of life because of that guy's big mouth. Wouldn't it make me responsible for it, too? He made his own choice about taking that drug. If anyone else is to blame for what happened to San and San, it's my father. Son and son couldn't have done it if the drug wasn't there. <sighs> Things are just getting stranger, aren't they? <laughs> if your esteemed clan will support me, then I'm willing to prosecute this matter with extreme prejudice. For loyalists, I'm willing to lend as many men and materials as you need. <laughs> I'm glad I can count on you. I respect your promise. <laughs> By the way, there's a rumor going around about the Shinsengumi, and since you're currently keeping company with them... Oh, and what would that be exactly? Kazuma, wait a moment. We're supposed to be bodyguarding. <laughs> I think you can forgive me if I don't stand there and watch them drink. And also, I really wasn't in much of a mood to watch more humans doing their usual plotting, scheming, and betraying of each other. I don't understand what that girl is thinking, saying she really wants to live among them. By that girl, you mean the female devil from Ikida? Yes, her. It's ridiculous for her to be waiting on those men. My pride as a devil won't allow it. Hmm. All right, Shizuru. We'll be back in just a little while. Right. Be safe out there, all right? Suji, take care of Shizuru for us. Yeah, sure. You're kind of overdoing the whole guardian thing, aren't mm -hmm. you? Sorry, I didn't get all that. Because I didn't say anything. <laughs> You're looking for a doctor of Western medicine? No. Sorry to bother you. Thanks anyway. <laughs> Do you need help? I take it you're his companion, right? What were you thinking, leaving him alone? He's obviously sick, isn't he? I'm sorry. Uh, um... Look, she didn't know about it. Let's keep it civil, all right? All right, then. I'm sure you had a good reason to keep it from your friend. 
One more thing. May I ask your name? I'm Chizuru Yukimura. And, uh, I'd like to give you a new handkerchief to replace the one you gave us right now. I just need your name and address. You can call me Kaoru Nagumo. And consider the handkerchief a gift from me. Who knows? If the fates are kind to us, we might even meet again someday. Chizuru, son. Okura-san, how long have you been sick? Huh? What do you mean? <sighs> how long have you been coughing up blood like this? You're being weird, you know. No, you're the one who's weird. And you've got a fever, too. It looks a lot like... You're right. It's tuberculosis. <laughs> Just remember one thing. Tell anyone, and I'll have to kill you. I didn't want to be right about that. Well, the doctor seems to agree with you. Not that I put a lot of stock in what they say anyway. <laughs> well, you need to listen to them. Right now, you need to be in bed. Even if that means leaving the Shinsengumi, you've got to think of your health first. That's not happening. <laughs> what do you mean by that? With the world and the shape that it's in, there aren't a lot of things I can do with myself. Fighting alongside my brothers is what gives my life meaning. And that's that. If I really only have a little bit of time left to me, then I have to keep on doing what gives me purpose. Okita san. All right. I won't tell anyone about you being sick, but you need to promise me some things too. Don't drink so much sake. And you need to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables. He's up there, Mother Hen. Uh. I guess I could kind of do what you say and only have candy once in a while. Uh. Hey. The water of life. You think it might cure tuberculosis? I'm just messing with you. Are you ready to go home? So you and your men are leaving the Shinsengumi? An interesting choice of words. More of an intelligent redeployment of forces. Silver tongue aside, you're completely full of shit. All right, since you'd prefer to be confrontational about this, would you care to tell me what you're hiding from me? After all, I'm still one of your senior officers, aren't I? Hiding from you? Soldiers gossip, after all. Normally it doesn't matter, but a rumor like this definitely got my attention. It was about a dead man coming back to life, your deputy commander. <laughs> now, of course, a rumor is just that. But this one led me to investigate, and it seems like there's a little truth to it. In any case, I thought I'd discuss it with you. Well, you're smart. So basically, you're saying your spies out foxed our spies, and now you're going to try and hold it over our heads. Fine. Let's talk, then. What exactly would you do if we were to say that those rumors have no basis in fact? I would most happily keep those secrets to myself, as long as you keep the details of my leaving to yourself. Uh, uh, what's that? Then I suppose we should assume your mind is made up. I don't mind if you take it as such. You heard everything. Are you fine with that? Saito-san? I wonder how many times the cherry blossoms of Kyoto have fallen on schedule like this. Time passes, and many things change. The workings of the world, ideologies, and also the Shinsengumi. Saito-san, you're going to leave us because it's all changed? It is. The unchanging things in which I believe. Sorry to make you wait. Ah, she's in. I'm sorry. I wasn't able to stay with you. We had to search and find Kodo-san. 
Imperialism. Or sticking with Bakufu. Either one of those choices is a tough one to make, you know? Of course, when the guy asking you is the one you said would make a good officer, you don't just say, yeah, sure, whatever, Master Ito, you know? Mm. Come on, stop making that face, all right? Mm. Jeez, that you. Mm. Take care of yourself, Heisuke-kun. Yeah. You too, Chizuru. What in the world are you two thinking getting drunk out here? Oh, what's up, Chizuru? You wanna tie one on? Dumbass. You ought to know by now she doesn't drink. You're trying to make her into an alcoholic? Mm. Come on, man. I'm just saying, a little company wouldn't hurt, you know. And who's nicer than Chizuru? Well, yeah. Anyway, you think Heisuke Kun's doing all right? <laughs> go back to your room, Chizuru. Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> It's been a while since I've been in the realm of men. You couldn't have found a more disgusting place to live. Do me a favor and hang out here. Yeah, go have fun. Someone's breached our security perimeter. It's not safe. Please get back into your room. That won't stop me. Mm -hmm. ready for me to beat your ass. Well, if it isn't you! Harakun, who is this man and why is he disturbing us? He's one of those guys that got away from us at the Ikeda Inn, sir. That's interesting. I guess that means you're responsible for hurting Okida-kun and quite a few of our men. You still think Yukimura Sensei's your father? <laughs> You'll understand everything if you come with me. <laughs> done here with our business, gentlemen. Come on now, you're just gonna take her? The longer she stays, the more she'll wind up becoming concerned with their lives. I'm taking her back where she belongs, so she doesn't have to deal with their pain. Leave her alone! <laughs> what kind of idiot points his blade at me? A traveling jester? I'm ready if you are. Why do you look surprised, swordsman? If you'd open your eyes and look, you'd see how easy it is for me. What? Like her, both my friend and I are what you call devils. She's wasted here on people like you. That's quite an interesting story. But she's entrusted her safety to the Shinsengumi. And she's staying right here! Just look at your friend there, pretending to be one of us. I'll be damned if I let her stay here with one of them!
damn it! <clears throat> Tell me, why is a devil like you protecting a man like him? Listen to me. I'm not a devil or anything like it. Leave this place at once! So you're gonna try to tell me you're not a devil? Tell me what your name is, then. I'm Chizuru. Yukimura. A thousand cranes in your name. Your given name. And the family name of Yukimura happens to belong to the most powerful family of devils on the east side of this island. Your name and your sword are the only proof I need. Just look at those fangs. Do you really still think you're one of them? I don't care what you say. I don't care! <laughs> You've brought your ignorance to the den of the wolves of Mibaro. This is a place to become a warrior, and a warrior becomes a protector. And when we say someone's under our protection, we mean it! Ichikasa... You heard him. And you heard me. I'm not gonna go anywhere with you, got it? And all you are boring me. It's time to go. Well, it looks like someone's being selfish, aren't they? Pardon the intrusion. I will, for now, leave you with this warning. Human beings and devils are not compatible. Other than that, do what you want. I'm sure you'll grow tired of her in time. And then I'll be more than happy to take her back into our ranks. So this Kazuma says she's a devil. Right. Yeah. She wasn't aware of it, was she? Tea, gentlemen? Oh, sure. Here's the thing with it. I've seen that healing power manifest itself too many times. I don't think it was a trick. All right. Good work in there. Are you okay? Huh? You just look like you had a lot of stuff on your mind or something. Well, is it okay for me to be here? Huh? Everyone's helped, and all they've gotten is a lot of trouble. It's only natural for men to protect women, okay? You shouldn't ever have to worry about us doing that. You can't go blaming yourself for those clods trying to raid us. It's our job to be ready for a threat like that, no matter how powerful it is. And in spite of all that, you were right there in the middle of it. You were helping us, even though there were a lot of swords flashing in there. That kind of tells me you belong here, no matter what those idiots try and tell you. <laughs> and you're always going to be you. Saito! What in the hell are you doing here? As of today, Saito will be returning to his post in the Shinsengumi. So, what does he mean? Uh... I'll tell you. Toshi told him to go, and he's been inside of Ito's group as an intelligence agent. It looks like Ito has joined up with Satsuma. Their plan... is to find a way to assassinate the commander of the Shinsengumi. They want to do what? I'll get into the specifics of our plan later on. But Ito-san is a dead man. You are Kashitaro Ito? Harada-san <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> and the others sure are late tonight. You don't think they're out drinking again, do you? <laughs> I certainly don't think that. Yamazaki! Is Yamazaki huh? here? <laughs> we need a doctor out here right now! <laughs> hey, Skate, you're gonna be fine! Hey, in there! What's going on here? <laughs> hey, Skate-kun! <laughs> hey, Skate!
Shinsuke was? Imperial Tomb Guard bastards. They're the ones who did this to him. All of these cuts are too deep. There's nothing else I can do for him. He's beyond help. No way. The poor boy. Everyone, I need all of you to leave the room, please. Son and son? You just said he was beyond help, didn't you, Yamazaki? If that's really the case, it's time, and he doesn't need company. His Kikun. Listen to me. Yamazaki says you're not gonna last much longer. Make your choice. Shizuru? Hey, kun How are you? I feel good. Almost so good that I'm disappointed in myself, you know? That's good to know. I went and brought you something. You hungry? Thanks, I am. So I guess I'm a fury now. <sighs> it's nothing to worry about. I took the medicine and didn't die, so that's what was supposed to happen. Hey, Skekun. And you know, I remember you holding my hand, Shizuru. I mean, it was so smooth and warm. Damn sure wasn't gonna let myself die. I guess you could say you actually went and nursed me back to life. Right. Thank you. Come on, don't you think I'm the one who should be saying that? Thanks a lot, Shizuru. I mean it, okay? <sighs> <laughs> the following are the orders of the Bakufu. Effective immediately. We will make the Fushimi Magistrate's office our headquarters and meet the Sacho army in battle wherever we end up finding them. The dignity of the Bakufu is at stake here, gentlemen. And this will be the deciding battle. And the Shinsen Gumi will always do what's right. Yeah! I haven't been in touch. I'm sorry about that. I need to ask you something. The Shinsengumi need your help. Uh -huh. Can you find a way to reverse the effects of the Water of Life? I'm afraid it can't be done. <laughs> you had to already know, didn't you, Chizuru? The purpose of that drug was to create more devils like us. We can't regain the power our people used to have without the right number of fellows in our ranks exercising their own particular powers. Who are... we? You and I. We're descendants of a race of devils who have been in the world of men since ancient times. <laughs> and you are the last survivor from our greatest bloodline. I've been doing this all for you and our family, my child. What... what are you... Trying to say, isn't it obvious? We're here to let you reclaim your freedom. The Shinzengumi who became Furies are nothing but primitive failures. 
Thanks to the domains of westernized Japan, there is hope for my fury research. The shogunates are failing, Chizuru. Leave the Shenzhen Gumi and come join us in our odyssey. That's impossible. I can't do it. They'll betray you, Chizuru. They always have. That's not the truth, and you know it! My friends, I've always been able to trust them. You're a doctor, aren't you, Father? Why would you do this to people who trust you? Come on, Uncle Kodo. Let's take her and get it done with. You know she's not gonna change her mind unless we do it for her, right? <laughs> get away from me! Don't make me do it! Oh my, you're going to hurt me? She said she doesn't want to go with you. Ichigata-san! It's been a while since we've seen each other, Kodo-san. It certainly has, Hijikata-san. Fancy seeing you here. And what you just said, is it true? Eavesdropping, Hijikata? That's not very honorable. Neither is using the Shinsen Gumi as a test subject. But, on top of everything else you're saying, the Furies are a failure that can't be saved. That may be true, Master Hijikata, but it's a little too late for you to have reached the right conclusion. That's more than enough out of the both of you. I wouldn't interrupt again if I were you. Oh, really? Um, we weren't planning on butting in, but this isn't a family reunion. Nagakura-san! Saito-san! However, there's only so much of this we're just gonna watch. Harada san What do you know? It looks like we were having company all this time. Yes, you did. You win this round. And it's time for us to exercise the better part of valor. Uncle? Don't worry about it. We'll get another opportunity. Just remember I gave you a chance. It's only smoke. They're still around here somewhere. Follow them! Right! right. I'm sorry. There's nothing for you to be sorry for, all right? But, sir, because of me, by being here, I'm definitely causing problems. I don't have the right to put everyone at risk like this. If you're really sure that you don't want to be with us anymore, you can go. Tell me now what you're really feeling at this moment. We offer you our protection when you needed it. However, you owe us nothing, and you certainly can go. But I know you had to be thinking of us back there. Isn't that why you put your hand on your sword to fight? That's more than enough reason for you to stay. All right? Isami-san! Oh. Isami-san was... We had just finished the war council at Nijo Castle, and that's when they shot him. So answer me this. Did you really feel like it was best to bring him here on horseback? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I couldn't protect him and find help for him. No. It was my fault because I couldn't persuade him to take more of us with him when he said he didn't need any guards. No one else's. Damned fatalistic. I finished doing what I can in terms of emergency treatment. However, as long as he makes it through the night tonight... Shinpachi, Harada, take anyone who isn't flat on their back and investigate the scene of the shooting. Yes, yes sir. sir. The magistrate's office is yours, Gensan. Understood. Yamazaki, stay with him and do what you can. Yes, sir. And if you have time later on, check on Soji. Yes, sir. Understood. And whatever you do, don't tell him about Kondo-san. <laughs> OK. 
eres tan... Sana... No. Please, no. So, how's the Fushimi Magistrate's office? Rattled as usual. I guess he's probably dead by now. Shinsen Gumi! supposed to have you on your deathbed right now, but you went and took the water of life. I don't suppose you shot him. Of course not, but you might say I had more than a hand in the planet. <laughs> what are you trying to do anyway? I want everyone who's been feeding all those lies to Chizuru to die. Lying about what? How about the lies you told yourself about taking the water of life? Poor dumb fool, it doesn't cure tuberculosis. Like I care. I'll be happy enough. Once I take your head, punk. <laughs> <laughs> Compliments on your moveset. Uh, However, they're not gonna save you now. You dumbass. Still telling yourself lies, I see. <laughs> now you pissed me off. That wasn't the right kind of... What do you see we find out? Silver ball round from the looks of it. Okay, but there has to be something else in it to keep Soji in bed like this. I'd have to say so. Anyone else who was using their fury power like he was should have shrugged that off and be up and walking right now. So they've got inside information on how to hurt a fury. Mm hmm. At the very least, we should prepare to fight them that way. Pachi, keep on moving. We've got this.
Okay, so what's this? This is the last of the water of life. Just wait a minute. You're not ordering us to drink this, right? I hate to say it, but half of our troops were wiped out today, gentlemen. And if things keep going on like this, there won't be anything I can do to guarantee our safety. It's a suggestion. If things are looking down for all of you, use it if you'd rather keep on fighting instead. No way! I'm not doing that! I'm prepared to die in battle if that's what's necessary. Toshizan. We agreed that we would accept this order to test the drug from the Bakafu. And by we, I'm referring to Commander Kondo and myself. The rest of you shouldn't feel like you have any obligations other than the defense of the Bakafu and the Shogunate. Understood, Vice Commander. But now that you've chosen to share this with us as well, I can at least take some of this responsibility on myself. While a man should take all his responsibilities as they come, my time hasn't quite come yet. But I won't drink it now if that's all the same to you. Well, it certainly makes an interesting choice to make. I imagine it'll bring me more luck than a charm. Protect all the wounded! And everyone else who isn't wounded, get in there and give them hell to pay! Here you go. So how goes the battle, sir? Anything new? Well, right now we're still waiting for Yamazaki to come back. I went and brought rice cakes. Oh, you're awesome. I'm good, thanks. Uh, Save what you can for the rest of the men, all right? Mm. <laughs> Go ahead and take it, Kay. We really do have enough for everyone out there. Uh, oh, yeah? Uh, Don't mind if I do. Thanks for the rice balls, Chizuru. Yes, of course. That's weak, acting like that. Dig in, Heijikata-san, okay? Thank you, Chizuru. Aren't you hungry, sir? No, but I will. <gasps> that was really freaking close. Yeah. I thought so. Someone hasn't been eating around here either, have they now? Ichikara-san! Uh, come on! I haven't been pushing myself! So you really should hang on to it until you get hungry. And you look like you're hungry now. We've still got a war going on uh. out there. And if you pass out from starvation, who's gonna take care of the wounded, hmm? Sir, look, I know when you ate last... Mm. Okay. Thank you kindly for sharing with me. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Sir. Uh, uh. Yamazaki san! Yamazaki! Uh, the Sacho army have new flags, and they're all ensigns belonging to the Emperor, sir. What did you say? <laughs> Sacho couldn't have gone turncoat like that. Well, it's obvious they did. Yamazaki doesn't come back with bad intelligence. The opposition's in power, and we're the rebels now. Toshi-san. Well. Looks like the table's finally been turned on us. We retreat. <gasps> that doesn't mean I'm conceding victory. They're gonna pay a heavy price for this. <sighs> Evacuate the wounded and get started on a new headquarters. Next thing, I need a courier to go to Yodo. Let me do it, sir. Huh? Let me go. I can't just sit around here right now. I'll go with her, Soji. <sighs> All right, all of you men, you need to go get some rest for a change, all right? You know I son. All right, then. Get going. Uh, you know what? The Imperial Colors. We need to go, Chizaru. Get out of the way, Chizuru! You know I'll be damned. It's a Shinsugumi uniform. I bet the Emperor'd pay us a pretty penny for their heads right now. 
Please, no. Yukimarakun, get out of here and get to Yodo. Inoue san. And then, please tell Toshi san, I'm sorry my own strength wasn't enough. I want him to forgive me for not being there at the end. Because <laughs> what's one less spindly like the old man? And I want him to know that I am eternally grateful for one more chance to live a warrior's dream. Now then. sided with the Emperor. I got here as quick as I could after I got the news, but I'm so sorry. You shouldn't have to witness this. <laughs> Old friends in the Bakufu slicing each other to bits. I already know how this war is going to end, fools. Your friends in the Sacho army are flying the Emperor's flag, and his court is already in the business of making the samurai classes obsolete. All they spent in Edo's best swordsmanship schools just to wind up kneeling. But you are not a samurai, are you? Take my advice and leave the girl here with her own kind, all right? It's better for all of us. And of course, I'll let you live. Go back to hell. I made this girl a promise. So, we've got a problem. Are you really gonna stand there and lecture me about promises and your situation? You don't have the power, let alone the skill, to keep her away from me. Allow me to educate you in the ways the real world works. Ishikata-san! Get back, Chizuru! <laughs> <laughs> you'd be kneeling to take the scraps off the Emperor's plate. You're in my way. Way too slow. What? What was that? If you want to live, I'm telling you not to interfere in my fight again. Understood? <laughs> You're not gonna last very long with those bullet holes in you. Thank me. I'm gonna finish this quick, Jester. Stop it, please! <laughs> Hold it. You're really gonna do that? Do you realize how stupid you are right now? Yeah, maybe. But I'm kind of out of options right now. Turning into a fury isn't gonna help. You'll still be a phony devil. You'll never be a match for me. Well, what do you say? We put that theory of yours to the test! Soldier! I'm tired of 
this garbage. The cowards in the Bakafu. Devils acting like they're special. And a swordsman who can't even protect one woman. Call me a fake if you want. I don't give a damn what you think. Being treated like a fake samurai crew. That's what me and my people have always had to deal with. No one's ever going to steer us or force us off our righteous path of justice. So I'm a fake devil now, big deal. If I say I'm for real, then you have to deal with it! <laughs> so bad, why are you backing up? So how does it feel to get that porcelain face of yours scratched by a low-life fake like me? You little scum! I won't let you get away with this! That's more than enough, Kazuma. If you keep this up, the damage done to us in the world of men will be insurmountable. <clears throat> you said your name was Hijikata. Remember that you and I have unfinished business. Whatever you do, stay close to me. I'll keep my promise to protect you, guaranteed. And then we're going back to Edo, all right? Right. Are you scared? I'm not, as long as I'm here with you. if we don't do something. Sano! Huh? Over there! Hmm? Shit. They're gonna go for our northern flank. <laughs> this place is going to turn into a battlefield soon. I need you to go. Find the safest place you can. I can't do that, sir. I won't run away while everyone else is risking their lives out here. Hmm. All right, then. This isn't a suggestion, it's an order. Chizuru Yukimura, you are to serve as the commander's bodyguard. Huh? Until I return with reinforcements, you are to stay with Kondo-san and keep him safe. Right. I, Chizuru Yukimura... As the attendant of Vice Commander Hichikata, will risk my life You to... are not supposed to die. <laughs> you are supposed to stay alive. You can't be a bodyguard if you're dead. And if something happens before I make it back here, get together with Saito and make sure the commander's safe. I know you're coming back. Remove your short sword. <laughs> Just pull the blade out halfway, with the back of it facing me. It's a tradition when two samurai swear a solemn oath to each other. 
So this is the samurai's oath? This is my vow to you. You're going to live through this. And we're both making a vow to see each other again. And of course, neither of us are officially samurai to speak of. So we're just using some of their traditions. I leave the rest to you. Look after the commander for us. Commander! <laughs> what is it, Saitoku? The enemy is hitting our northern flanks. What's that? In the south, huh? too! Nagakura-san! <laughs> are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> what are we gonna do about this? They're gonna have us bracketed any minute now! <laughs> what the hell are you? Huh? <laughs> Fury's doing out in the day anyway. I wish I knew. Kundo-san, we should sound a retreat and find a better fighting position. Wait, Shinpachi, we're holding this position under orders from the Bakufu. We can't just leave because things are getting a little rough. Listen to yourself. It isn't a little rough. How many people are going to die because you want to be stubborn about it? Kondo-san, retreat isn't defeat. With all respects, we're done. We can't wage war with just our courage anymore. <laughs> it looks like they're finally using Furies in the war now. <laughs> I guess the Satsuma forces finally warmed up to the idea. And that probably had something to do with meeting the Shinsengumi Fury generals in battle. Not to mention the other outside forces that are rearing their heads. Definitely. <laughs> let's speed up cutting ties with our friends in Satsuma. And let's put a priority on getting our people into place where these humans can't see them. I'll get it done. So, Yukimura Dodo. How long do you plan on concerning yourself with human affairs? Furies that can move around during the day? Well, I guess that means they've got a leg up on us. Yes. I guess that means Kodosan's research has taken another step forward since we were his subjects. That's not all. The Furies they fought at Kofu came right at Kondosan. And they're still active at night, so I need the three of you taking turns as his bodyguards. Right. I'll keep him off his back. Hijikata-kun, you've been working a lot late into the night recently. You're not having problems, are you? Even a fury needs to get rest, right? We're not exactly in a situation where getting extra rest is going to help. 
We have a war to fight right now. I brought you breakfast, sir. Hijikata-san? I'm coming in. Okay. Maybe you should rest a little while. Sure. Once I'm finished up with this. But, sir, you said that last night. Pardon, sir. What is it? The commander needs you, sir. Hmm. What does he need? Is everything all right? Well, sir... You're serious about this? I am. From this point forward, anyone who follows me fights my way. Are you all right with this, Commander? Understood. And do you feel the same, Harada? Yes. Thank you for everything, sir. So you guys are really leaving? Well, it's time we moved along. No matter what, I never want to think, man, I wish I'd have done that. Saito, what do you think about all this? I think I have an obligation to stay here and handle my business. Yeah, sure. Chizuru, I wanted to keep on watching your back until you were done, and I feel really lousy just picking up and leaving like I am. Harada san. Just do me a favor, all right? The way things are, we're probably gonna be on the same battlefield one day. We're gonna be on the same side, so don't go cutting us up. Uh, yeah, don't hurt us. <laughs> With you out there, we're gonna give those Sacho guys one hell of a fight. We're saying goodbye, but that doesn't mean it's the last time, all right? <laughs> yeah. Take care of yourselves out there, guys. You too, Chisaru. Why did this have to happen anyway? Why didn't Master Hijikata try and stop them from going? I can tell you the Vice Commander was dead set against them going, and that's a fact. Uh, really? However, even the best of comrades can wind up at cross purposes. Which is something the Vice Commander has some experience with. You can count on it. Mm. Let's go. Uh, coming! Hmm? Yeah. God damn it all! I don't need this! Is you got a son? Is everything all right in there? It's fine. Go ahead and leave. Uh, sir, I'm sorry. <laughs> Get out! 
stay away from me. Do you need blood? Don't even think it, Yukimura. Why, sir? Won't you feel better if you had some blood to drink? Shut up, damn it! I said get out of here, didn't I? But, sir! Leave me alone, I said! You're obviously long past the point of being reasoned with. Asking for help, least of all from you. Time for payback, you son of a Let's bitch! Let's not do something rash, all right? So tell me, may we have the pleasure of your name? I am Kyuju Amagiri. I remember you from our fight in the capital, and I didn't introduce myself. However, we needn't clash here, gentlemen. Yeah, right. So who's the Fury, then? A soldier of the Toso Domain, and Toto Yukimuri's handiwork. Another one of his experiments? I heard a few rumors that a Fury got away from their army and was on the streets of Edo looking for blood. Any blood. I was going to destroy him as soon as I made contact with him, but burning through his lifespan saved me the trouble. Lifespan? Gaining the strength of the Furies isn't exactly what you would call a gift from the gods, gentlemen. There are certain gains in strength, healing ability, and the ability to fight like a man possessed with power. What I'm talking about is no greater than what you were already given. The more you use the power that the fury inside of you demands, you'll burn through the strength of the years you have left. <laughs> use what you want, but I wouldn't plan on living very long if I were you. I understand. We'll end up giving up the rest of our lives to use the power. Right. All right, then. Let's try this. Strategy. Regarding what we should do to get out of here, we need to be gone before the Saicho bastards show up and get to Aizu. Saito, I'm counting on you to get the men ready. I understand, sir. Sun and Sun and Heisuke, use the cover of darkness to move out later tonight. We'll be ready for it. I owe you an apology. What about, Yukimura? You becoming a Fury, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be one. You shouldn't have had to fight Kazuma-san for me. I did this to you. Nonsense. <laughs> I took the water of life because I wanted to take it. There's no reason for you to worry about it. Ichigata-san, that's your answer for everything. I mean, just tell me what you're feeling for once, all right? 
Seriously, who the hell wants to be a fury? And you beat me again. I might as well have my big sister here in the dojo. Huh? You really let me have it there. And I could have sworn it was her talking. Almost like I was getting scolded for real. And that I should shape up or ship out if you know what I mean. And it's not like I really have to worry. I just have to not use my powers to have a fruitful life. So could you stop worrying so much? Sure. Hot ginger tea, sir. Ah, sorry I had you bring that. It's not any trouble. What are you reading? Hmm? The Romance of the Three Kingdoms and the Biography of Kiyomasa. They're actually military tales. I've read them so many times I've practically memorized them. A while back, these books would have had me captivated reading them as a boy. I wanted to be a great general just like Wan Yu. Of course, you can dream about being a general all you want. It took me longer than average, but I finally got to be one. Oh, hang on. Commander, are you there? Toshi, what's going on? We need to evacuate as soon as we can. We're completely surrounded. It looks like they brought a battalion with them. Damn. Shimada, Chizuru. I'll handle this one myself. Take the commander out the back exit. Understood? Ichikata-san, even you can't handle that many soldiers at once. Toshi, that's kind of foolhardy. I'll talk to the enemy commander myself. <gasps> what in the hell are you playing at, commander? Come on now, Toshi. It's not like I'm gonna go out there and introduce myself as Isami Kondo. I'll just tell them I'm working for the Tokugawa and that should distract them. That's bullshit, and you know it! Listen to me, damn it! They'll have you made in a second! <sighs> I mean, come on! I'd have to take a direct hit to the heart to get killed out there! I'm the only intelligent choice to go out there and buy time! Maybe. But the best choice isn't always the right choice. And in case you're wondering, my mind is made up, Toshi. The hell it is, sir! What would the Shinsengumi be without their field commander? You listen to me. Your body isn't just a plaything to throw at the enemy! Then this is an order, Hijikata! <gasps> Vice Commander Hijikata, you are to evacuate our remaining fighters and regroup in Aizu. Uh, you're... ordering... to just leave you here? I don't get it. What you're asking me to do doesn't make sense. Oh, you know it does. It's time for me to be at peace with all of this. You've really done enough for me, you know, Toshi. Being my vicious right-hand man, proclaiming our name for all to hear, and now you've gone and become a fury, too. But seeing you like this is really painful for me. Oh. Commander. Have I really hurt you that much? I never wanted for this to happen. I could never be happier knowing I was serving with you. Really? Sorry. I'm sorry that serving with me has done this. I really am. That was your last order as commander. That's right. Understood. Shimada, take the remaining fighters to the rear exit. Yes, sir. Chizuru. You wait here with him. I'll call for you when we're ready to go. I understand. Yukimuru-kun. Sir? I wasn't able to see this through for you, but... What's this? A little cash to escape. You need to leave us. Part ways with the Shinsengumi and don't look back. I'm not going, sir. I have to stay with Hijikata-san. I guess I understand. There's still time for you to change your mind and come with us. I know he'd do everything he could to help you get out of here. That's why I can't. You heard him a minute ago, didn't you? Even if he won, how much of his life would he have left? Blessed little, if any. 
He'd have to use his fury powers. And would it really be worth it just to save one man? You knew about that, sir? Mm-hmm. I know exactly what the cost is. My life against the rest of the Shinsengumi. <laughs> Here's an order for you. Take care of Toshi. Please, Yukimura. <laughs> Son of a bitch, you know that. You're going out in a blaze of glory, and you're leaving me to handle this all on my own. Sorry. Guess I can't win with you either. How's it look? No one out there. Go ahead and take point. I'll make sure no one gets in behind us. Sir, let's go! Let's go! Right! <laughs> hey! You there! Stop! <gasps> you better tell us what you're doing out here! Move your ass! <laughs> <laughs> All right, you assholes. Which one of you wants to piss me off next? You bastard! <gasps> Who are you? <gasps> Chimita, I'll handle the rifleman. Take the rest and do what you have to to break through. Understood, sir. This way, man. Oh! Huh? Hold it! We'll shoot if you don't stop! Stop it! No! Don't do it, Ichigata-san! <laughs> that order, sir. I promise I won't get in your way. But please, let me stay with you and attend you. I could have fought to do more. I should have fought more to save him. Why should I live after leaving my commander behind? I just left him there, being the good soldier, doing what I was told. I don't deserve to live. Not after I left him here to die! Ichikata-san, you have to know he cared for you too. And he didn't want you or the men to die for him. And for what it's worth, the fact that he did what he did is going to let us fight another day and do what's right. Don't throw that away. How did it go? <sighs> Edo Castle's day of surrender is set. It's May 2nd, the day after tomorrow. They're just gonna surrender without even fighting back. It's just like Osaka all over again. Be that as it may, I'm not ordering our people to stand down yet. So we're going to Aizu? Yes. Sorry. Looks like I've forgotten something. 
Oh, should I go get it for you? I'll get it. Why don't you head over to that tea house? Rumor has it that the dongo is nice and sweet just the way you like it. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Chizuru. Hmm? Yeah? <laughs> Never mind. I need to be heading back. Enjoy yourself. Right. All right. So where did he run off to? Pardon me, miss. Huh? I'm glad you enjoyed the dumplings, but I have to close up my shop now. Oh, sorry to keep you. Huh? Are you Chizuru Yukimura-san? Uh, mm, yes. Here. Hijikara-san asked me to give you this. Huh? That was the right way to hand it over, wasn't it? I'll see you around. Uh, hey, hang on. Wait a second. Mistress Chizuru Yukimura, please forgive me for informing you of my departure in this manner. The battles ahead of us may be too heated for me to justify putting you in danger, and your safety is paramount to me. I beg of you, please hurry and leave Edo and live a peaceful, quiet life. For certainly, you have earned such a life for yourself. But I should be there. You heard of Kondo from Shinsengumi? They're beheading him. You mean those thugs that were running around Kyoto attacking people? That's them. They're gonna behead Kondo-san. Hokura-san! <laughs> Jizuru-chan. Why aren't you in bed? Oh, come on. Isn't it obvious? We're going into town to save Kondo-san. You'll burn through your life force. Don't get in my way! <laughs> Okura-san, you shouldn't push yourself like this. If I don't do it now, it's not like I'm gonna get stronger. Those bastards, they're gonna go and cut his head off. Damn it. Why won't my body... Do what I want it to. At this rate, the only thing you're gonna do is get caught. I don't give a damn what happens to me, all right? If I don't save Kondo's son, then I'll just... <coughs> <coughs> So what do you think, Chizuru? I mean, what in the hell was Hijikata-san up to anyway? He didn't even try to come save the commander. Now wait a minute. Hijikata-san was following his orders. <laughs> so he just let him lose his head. And then he ran away to Aizu where it's safer. That's not true. He was given an order. He has to rally what's left of the Shinsengumi. I'm not buying that shit for a minute. <sighs> Better have the guts to tell me straight. Otherwise, it isn't real. You got me? Look at his son. Where do you think you're going? You said he was headed to Aizu, didn't you? You're not in any shape to travel. On top of that, the loyalists have checkpoints up. You know what, Chizuru? That's enough. If you're not gonna help me, then get the hell out of my way. The next time you try to stop me, I'll kill you. Oh, hey. I remember you. I think 
I know. Kosuzu, I'm back. Welcome home. Come in. <gasps> Chizuru. Haruda-san? I thought you guys knew each other. Uh, yeah. Welcome. It's a little cramped, but just go ahead and make yourself welcome, all right? Oh, thank you for having me here. I see. So Soji's bound and determined to burn himself out. And on top of all that, Hijikata-san just left you? Yeah, he did. For what it's worth, I don't think he'd do something like that unless his heart was all the way in it. You might want to go back to living a normal life without us. Try and find your woman's happiness, you know? I was happy. I don't think Hijikata-san believes that serving him would make anyone happy. I mean, wouldn't it be better for you to live like a normal girl again? So what the heck is normal? You know. But normal for me is being by Hijikata-san's side. That's the thing that makes me happy. So why aren't you going to find him? Huh? Ryanosuke-san. What did I do? Uh, um. Masters Haruda and Hijikata have spent a lot of time talking about how you should live your life. But in the end, it's something that you really have to decide for yourself. Now, hold it right there. I told her she could go out and do whatever it is that makes her happy. You follow me? Oh? Come on, Shizuru. You're still worried about what's happening with Hijikata-san in the war, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Getting back to him isn't going to be easy. But if that's what you want to do, you should try it. Right. Then there's really nothing else to say about it. Your mind's made up, and you already know that finding him will make you happy. You don't want to have any regrets. But really, all you're doing right now is talking yourself into it. Hard as sun. And now that I see you determined like this, I wish I could take you to Aizu myself. But I still have a thing or two that I have to get cleared up here in Edo. The Shogi Company and I still have some business to take care of, so it looks like you're not going to have an escort. Are you still going to look for him? Later, Ryanosuke Kyozuzu. Oh, yeah. My door is always open to you. Take care of yourself, Chizuru-san. Thank you both for your awesome hospitality tonight. I mean it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you again. See you. The Loyalist troops have control of the Senju checkpoint. Even if you have identification papers, you won't get through there. You're going to want to cut through the forest in the back and then head on north. Okay, I got it. I'll definitely be catching up with you and Aizu later. Just remember I'm gonna make it there before you do, so hurry. Yeah, I'll make it. You take care of yourself. Right. You take care of yourself, too. All righty, then. Someone's gonna get their ass kicked. of the Shintengumi's 10th unit is here. That's Sanosuke Hawada to you, lowlifes. So which of you sorry sons of bitches thinks I got the skill to beat me? Shintengumi? Cut him down! Kill him! Tree line, maybe. I don't see it. This man owes me a rematch. Isn't that right? <laughs> sure, on the way. <laughs> Well, 
Well, guess who's awake? You might have a devil's constitution, but you shouldn't try moving yet. You don't have to worry, girl. The loyalists won't be busting these walls down. What do you plan on doing with me, Kazuma? For the moment, we're not going to do much of anything outside. You caused one hell of a commotion at the checkpoint trying to get through. <laughs> you know, at the very least, you could thank me for keeping you out of the hands of the soldiers back there. Yeah, sure. Thanks for the help. Haruda-san. Relax, he's fine. <laughs> at the very least, he excels at making a hasty retreat as necessity demands, I'm sure. Thank goodness. You say that I'm one of your own kind. That I'm supposedly some kind of devil to you. But seriously, I don't know anything about devils. <laughs> we devils have lived upon the face of this land since the days of ancient times long since gone. The human race in all its wisdom became fearful of the powers we once had. And instead of peaceful coexistence, they chose to try exploiting our power for their own gains. Prejudice reigned. And the devils of that time chose to hide themselves from the human race and we don't show ourselves often. That makes sense. So explain this to me. Why in the world did you ally yourselves with the Satsuma Choshu? Our ancestors had a debt with their families. But it's a debt that I consider paid in full. They're already fighting on the winning side of the war now. Rumor had it that your family, the Yukimura clan, had been obliterated years ago, with no real force or retainers left. You and your father were the only survivors. So what you're trying to tell me is... He's making furies out of men to restore our clan's power? Those freaks are an abomination. And he uses them to interfere in the affairs of man. No self-respecting devil would dare such a travesty. You're past the checkpoint now. Where are you going exactly? <laughs> Please don't tell me you're going to try to find the Shinsengumi. <laughs> <laughs> if I were you, I wouldn't bother looking. They're fragile and breakable like all other men. Under the just cause of war, they'll keep murdering each other until they wind up getting the money and power they want. You're wrong about that! The men I'm looking for are the kind who would give their lives for something good! <laughs> you never cease to amaze me. So why don't you explain to me how you're gonna pull this off? You're just going to walk into a war by yourself? I might not be able to do anything for them. Even so, I want to do everything I can to be a source of strength for them. You know that might include doing battle with your father. When that time comes, I'll stop him myself. Oh, you're gonna stop Kodo. <laughs> now that's amusing. Regardless, I have business in Aizu. I'll take you with me if you want to go there. <laughs> Something about this place is familiar to me. <laughs> Kazuma-san, 
What is this? These are the remains of your estate. Generations of your family used to live here, including you. I used to live here? Satsuma, Choshu, and Tosa. They were responsible for this. All of those clans were trying to use the power of the Devils of the West to defeat the Bakufu in this civil war of theirs. The Bakufu realized what they were up against and tried to reach an accord with the Devils allied with your house. They reached out to the Yukimura clan and begged them for aid. The Bakufu did? However, your clan did not consider it acceptable to involve themselves in a struggle between humans. So they refused the invitation. So you're saying they refused to join the war, and the Bakufu ended up slaughtering them for following their conscience? Don't you think you should hate them for doing what they did to your parents? To avoid involving ourselves in the affairs of man, you would do well for yourself if you adopted this sentiment, Yukimura. That was the notion that carried your clan's pride for generations across this land. My father, he's trying to restore our clan because he wants revenge for the genocide of our house. And what do you plan on doing about it if he does? All of those innocent people. None of them should have to die because my father wants revenge. There's always a better way. You're disappointing me, Jizu. <laughs> Where is your head right now? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Nagumu-chan, I see your back. I guess I should thank you for bringing Chizuru this far. But your part in this sordid little affair is over. Now be a good flunky and get the hell out of here, will you? It is my determination that Chizuru Yukimura is currently head of the Yukimura clan. As the head of the Kazuma clan of the West, I'm conducting business with her. I rule the West and she the East. You're done interfering, Kaoru. Interfering? You mean in the same way you are with a sibling's reunion? What are you saying? Siblings. You might not remember, but you're my little sister. <gasps> oh, come on. You can't be that surprised about it. We almost have the same face, don't we? And also, this katana and your short sword are a matched pair, little sister. Look at the hills. <gasps> what you're saying is impossible. I don't have a brother! That really hurts, Chizuru-chan. When we were little, we were always together, no matter where we went. How could you be, after all this time has passed? Why didn't he ever tell me about you being alive? Maybe he didn't want to trigger some kind of hidden memories you might have had about our home being destroyed, the way everyone was slaughtered that night. <laughs> But you don't need to be sad anymore. We'll be together again. Like we always were. Brother and sister, just like we used to be. Mr. Lord and Master of the Western Devils, my sister and I are having a moment. I thought I told you to get out of here. Just so I make myself clear, I'm not going to stand here and tolerate your interference either. The only thing I'm here for is to eradicate the Furies and everyone behind them. And right now, you happen to be on the wrong side of that equation. Shut your mouth! Ah! It's no use. <laughs> You actually use the water of life on yourself? <laughs> That's right! Who's stronger now, Big Mouth? You are go! Definitely understand. However, 
Revenge has blinded you and led you to step over a line that no man and no devil should ever try and cross. So what you're saying is that Furies are false devils in your eyes, Koro-sensei? Not just in my eyes or any other devil's son and son. Furies were imported from the West and have the blood of devils who are not the same as ours. The water of life is that blood, modified so humans can accept its power without the body rejecting it. Western devils are their power source, and if they can be properly controlled, they can become an army for us. And with the water of life, making more soldiers shouldn't be a problem. Hmm, I smell a traitor in the house. Kaoru-kun, how did it go? I brought Chizuru back here. I see. That was good work, then. If traitors are showing up here at the castle, I guess the Shins and Gumi are already done for, aren't they? Not necessarily. This one simply understands the situation. Never let it be said that an intelligent officer in a losing cause can't join the victors, right? Hmm? And I suppose the information about Bonari just happened to come from him? Yes, it did. <sighs> Where am I? Chizuru. Chizuru, is that you? Is that really you, Heisuke-kun? Thank God, I finally found you in this place. Heisuke-kun! I know you just got back in, but can you take our Furies out to the Bonari Pass and press the offensive against the Irregulars fighting there? Of course I will. It'll do my heart some good to kill the Shinsengumi out there. Her short sword, Uncle. Hmm. We're heading to the Bonari Pass. Come with me. Bonari? Heskekun? We gotta go. So if I understand you, you want to make more furies and create a devil world? Not even close. But I would like to cement my place in the new government when it takes place. We need a voice in the new order, and I, along with my furies, will be that voice. I understand. So what part does Chizuru play in all these political machinations? The same role all women play in political machinations. In addition to that, the blood of a purebred devil like her is enormous. It can be used to suppress the bloodlust of a fury, and it might even contain the substances we need to create more true devils and add them to our house. The possibilities are staggering, my boy. Making true devils out of human beings? The history of my people is tragic, Deputy Commander. Not a day in my life goes by where I'm not reminded of it. Deceiving the patriarchs of the Yukimura clan was necessary to gain the power we needed to stand on even footing with humanity. I've gone as far as to make allies among them, and I even went and got a hold of that girl, and I've used her to aid my research. You're the one who did that to the Yukimura village, Father? Chizuru! Stand down. Chizuru! It couldn't have been helped, child. The Yukimura clan lived in that village nestled in the mountains away from all the problems around them, losing touch with the reality of the real world. No way. How could you be so selfish? Tomorrow's battle at Bonari Pass will be a staggering victory for us, young lady. And the mewling human scum who begged for our help will have no choice but to include us in their world. Son and son, what are you doing kneeling in front of old Chrome Dome for anyway? Name-calling. I understand you're a fury now, too, Totokun. Just face it. You're going to be better off joining us. As it is, you're vastly outnumbered right now. Tell me you're not doing this, son and son. Yes. He's obviously on the winning side of things, so why not join him, Heisuke? That can't be true! She's in it. Toto-kun and I have been acquainted for a long time now. Perhaps it should be my blade that ends his life instead of theirs, Kodo-sensei. What do you say? Where did your honor go? 
I don't mind Sanan. As long as no harm comes to the girl, you may take his life. Don't do it! Please, Father! The times around us made us what we are now. If you won't cooperate with him, then you'll have to die. Chizuru, get back! <laughs> Takuma giving me a heart attack. You of all people should have known better. <laughs> what a waste, Son and Kuna. Son and Son! Son and Son! Die! <laughs> Please hang on. It's another those silver bullets. I'm embarrassed to lose in this manner. Do what you can to get out of here safely. Son and son. Son and son! Oh, God, no. Jizuru! Just stay close to me. you hate me now thank you for stopping my father he deserved what happened tonight i suppose i shouldn't expect anything less from the proper head of the yukimura <laughs> another pretender what you should be a suitable guard dog for now listen carefully take this girl to where your comrades are as quickly as you can however you're only getting a reprieve from the inevitable the next time we meet, you die by my hand. I'll take her there, but only because the man who should be looking after her is there, pretender. Did we make it in time? It can't be. Ichikata san and everyone else are. No way he would. The vice commander wouldn't die in a place like this. Let's make tracks, all right? I see. Lord Katamori was evacuated from the castle safely. Yes, sir. Hmm? Hajime-kun! Heisuke, where did you come from? Yukimura? Saito-san, it's good to see you're okay. Thank goodness. What are you doing here, Yukimura? She says she followed us here from Edo. And besides, it looks like the enemy are seriously throwing furies into the next battle. Yes, Inawashiro was overrun just a day after we lost the battle at the Banari Pass. I wasn't expecting that. By the way, what about Sanansan? Nihon Matsu. He fought against them proudly. So he's gone. Yeah. I see. I remember him saying he had an idea for drawing enemy forces out to the Banari Pass. <sighs> One other thing. Where's Ijikata? Under orders from Motori, he was sent with the rest of the former Bakufu's military forces and irregulars to Sendai. Huh. So we didn't make it in time? Um, what about Okada and Harada? Are you trying to tell me that Soji's heading this way? Yeah. I don't know how he's gonna make it out here. Shimpachi went to Yonazawa to request reinforcements, but I haven't heard from him. And Sano said that he had some sort of business to take care of in Edo. Yeah, I think it was... Something called the Shogi Company. Shogi Company? Yeah. The Shogi Company was... <laughs> they were attacked by the Sacho Army Corps. Reports on it weren't good. There weren't any survivors. But sir... I mean... Harita promised me he was gonna meet me here. He said he was gonna make it. Oh no. Yeah, I'll make it.
It should be as good as new now, so please use it. I'm sorry. Don't be. After all that's happened, this is the least I can do for you. Maybe, but I'm not going to keep you from heading on out to Sendai. And what exactly are the rest of you going to do here? Delaying action. We're going to do what we can to belay the forces following Commander Hijikata and his troops. But, sir... Just inform the Commander that we'll always be fighting together under this banner of truth. I will. Take care, you two. Stay safe out there. She can tell us to be careful all she wants to, you know. Of course she can. But I definitely intend to sidestep harm's way. <laughs> Aizu's kind of pretty like this. I managed to keep living, and even became a fury of all things because I figured I had something to live for. I'd just rather not lose it in this war, you know? Heisuke. Just don't stop me, okay, Saito? After all, the Forerunner teacher likes getting into harm's way. <laughs> Works for me. And I'll always say that I'm proud to have fought alongside you, Heisuke Toto. <laughs> Whoa, now that's a war. Why are you here, Shiranui? Just enjoying the view this time. The Furies. What about the Furies? I think the ones going to Kanai Temple. Yeah, they've got to be dead. You don't say. Hey. What are you doing giving me a hand back there? Because I'm not a big fan of your new government using Furies like that. That's really it. Well, I'll be damned. So tell me, what are you up to next? Well, you know, I went and promised Chizuru I'd meet her someday in Aizu. Well, at least one of us got here. Fire! <laughs> I'm at the limit of my fury power. The injuries, they're just not closing this time. Yes, okay. Hey, come on. I told you. The Forerunner teacher got one. Yeah, you got one for me. Damn it. How'd you make it? What are you doing leaving your back open like that? Soji. Come on, man. You're gonna get killed if you don't wake up. So tell me, where's Hijikata-san anyway? Commander Hijikata is on his way to Sendai. Hmm. Well, that sucks. He just keeps on running away and leaving you behind. He's turning into a bigger coward every minute. That's hardly the truth. We've all entrusted him just like Commander Kondo did with the future of the Shinsengumi. You understand me? <laughs> Jesus, Chan, we're spouting the same nonsense to me. But you know what? It's kind of hard to confirm it when he just isn't around. Eh? <laughs> Is that you, Okita? Still haven't killed over yet? Fancy meeting you here in Aizu. You know, you're a royal pain in the ass. What? Oh, I get it. I guess that's the reason Chizuru hates your guts. Knock it off! Shut up, Okita! You don't know anything about us! <laughs> Hold that pose, Okita! My sister needs me more than you can understand! I don't like 
like losing, and I like you even less. Time for a hot serving of payback. <laughs> <laughs> Soji, are you all right? I'm okay. Something like this isn't gonna kick my ass. But you gotta still owes me a face to face, and I'm not gonna die until I get it. All right. <laughs> Captain of the Shinsengumi's third unit, Hajime Saito! And none of you filthy monsters is taking one step past me! It looks like the Shinsengumi are headed for Ezo. How long are you going to keep on doing this? As the head of the Kazama clan, you have greater responsibilities to attend to. You're neglecting your duties and intervening in human affairs. If you continue to stay on this path, you'll be exiled from your clan. <sighs> I really don't think you're going to find anything here. Of course not. Whatever happens to me along the way... I won't stop until I've caught up with him. Or perhaps, do you think maybe he pushed you away for another reason? Possibly. But I know I still want to be by his side. I have an offer for you. The new government will make its way to Ezo in the spring. If there's any possibility of you wanting to go there after its establishment, I'll gladly take you, if you want. A month ago, the new government landed forces and took control of Nanihama. It's only a matter of time until Goryo Kaku falls to the Loyalist forces, and there's the possibility that Hijikata has already fallen. There's no way he's dead already. I know he'll be fighting until the bitter end. We'll be dropping anchor in Nanihama Harbor here in a few hours. After that, feel free to keep on looking. Thank you for everything you've done for me, Kasama-san. Just remember that as long as he remains a fury, I have an obligation to try and end his life. Are you still going to look for him now that I've said that? Uh. <laughs> don't go. You don't have to suffer anymore if you don't want to. Thank you for thinking of me. But it's time. I have to go.
You're awake now. Are you feeling any better? Yes, sir. What are you doing here? You should know that Vice Commander needs his attendant. Come on. Aizu and Sendai, I chased the Shinsengumi. And after doing all that, I finally found you here. That was stupid. Why in the name of hell do you think I left you in Edo? Huh? Huh? There's still time to get you out of here. We should try. I'm not going. Oh. I want to stay here by your side, Hichikata-san. We're about to lose Hakodate. And you should know, I've been the Shinsengumi's commander for a while. And I don't have a choice but to watch over this city. Of course you don't. That's how you are. You always take all the responsibility. And it leaves you with the bad memories. Because that's what I'm supposed to do. If anyone has to suffer, then it's better that I'm the only one who has to deal with it, doesn't it? Maybe. But that's also the reason everyone worries about you. I'm in this city now for everyone who can't be. So tell me, do you still think of the Shinsengumi as a model for a warrior's conduct? Of course. And do you think I'm their standard bearer, entrusted with their passions? Definitely. You think so? There's something I really want from you. Please share some of your pain and hardship with me. Let me be the one who gives you that shoulder to cry on. So you don't have to take everything on yourself all the time. <sighs> if only my duty to the Shinsengumi were over by now. I think I'd really be happy to just let go of life. <sighs> However, I have another reason not to give up on life so easy. <laughs> I fought with all my strength to protect so many things, but now, the thing I want to protect most is you, Chizuru. Ever since, I said I'd do everything I could to protect you. You took my heart and my breath away. From now on, please stay with me. And if you even try to escape, I'm not letting you get away, all right? Yeah. supply lines to Benton Fortress. What did you say? I'm going out there. I need a mount now. Sir! Chizuru, come with me. Right. Soldiers, so you should be able to rest here, at least for a little while. We need to use this chance to stop your bleeding. Yeah. Please do. There's so much. Hijikata-san, once you're okay to move again, let's get you back to Goryokaku, all right? Hijikata-san? Hijikata-san? Are you listening? Yeah, I can hear you. It's gonna be okay. 
Shimura-san and the others aren't gonna go down without a fight. I'm sure they're waiting for us. Yes, of course they are. We've got a reputation to uphold out there, after all. Ichikara-san? Don't you go falling asleep on me, all right? Keep it down. I can hear you. What do I do? Bandages aren't stopping anything. I'm not letting you die. Not in a place like this. Please. Come back to me. Ichikara-san. Ichikara-san. Oh, come on. You went and cut yourself, didn't you? I'm a fast healer, remember? You know that's not the problem. It's just that I... Only a poor excuse for a man would make the woman he loves taste his suffering. Or the depths of his pain. You understand what I mean by that? Of course I do. But what kind of woman would I be if I let the man I love keep on suffering? I'll be quiet. <laughs> If we keep on talking, we're gonna give our position away. But yeah, we can get back to Goryo Kaku soon. Sure. Lovely. No, you are lovely. Especially right now. Think so? I think all of these fit you a little bit better, Hijikata-san. Just like the first night you and I met in the capital. Just seeing you was like watching a majestic figure in cherry blossoms. You and me, we need to keep on seeing them. Hijikata. Still alive? Kazuma, son. You have my compliments making it this far to the north. You surprised me, Kazuma. Didn't expect to see you here. You're lucky I didn't die. That would have put a big kink in your plans. Furies like you are abominations against the natural order. And I'm here to eliminate every fury that crawls across the face of the earth. You don't have to do this! He's already been hurt! What are you trying to prove anyway? <sighs> if someone's come all this way just to have a duel with me, the least I can do is accept his challenge. I'm ready, Kazuma. Please don't... I have to. I have to fight for what I believe in. Chizuru, watch over me until the end, like we promised. Just like we promised. Fighting for what you believe in, Hijikara? How can you stand in front of me telling me these fairy tales? You're not a human, and you're not a devil. The more power you use, the less life you have remaining to you. And to extend your life, the blood of others drives you mad. Death has been your fate since you first tasted that blood. Like the petals of the cherry blossom, you're rushing through your life. I've never tried to rush through my life. What I've done is accept my responsibility to everyone! is no match for your life. And the way you've chosen to live it, you have transcended. <laughs> <laughs> 
And you are already a devil. And as such, you deserve a devil's name. You are Akuoki. I suppose I should be thanking you now, I guess. But I don't want your name or your title. And besides, I don't have a lot of playtime left, all right. If that's the case, I'll be sure to finish you with one strike of my sword. Akuoki. You should feel free to live what little life you have left. You deserve that much. Uh, all right. I've got some life left. Sorry, men, but I'm not going to join you just yet. I still have a life to live with her. So do us a favor and watch over us. All right. 